Italy is well known for its fine wine and oh so delicious food. And on the island of Sardinia, they have a special kind of cheese. It's called Kazu Marzu, and it's brought out for weddings, celebrations, real special occasions. <laughs> and guess what? You ain't even ready. <laughs> it's crawling with live maggots. Uh -huh. Well, there's a reason it's called Casu Marzu, because in Italian, that means rotten, putrid cheese. All right. For those of you that want to try this at home, let's give you the recipe. You start, you start with hard sheep's milk. It's left outside in the heat decay for three weeks till it's covered awesome. with cheese flies. You then remove the crust. Mm -hmm. It's cut off. This encourages those flies to come inside the softer <laughs> cheese, lay eggs. The cheese is then stored in a dark place for around three months to allow the maggots to completely <laughs> hatch. And, and to be clear, this is actually a very traditional dish. In Sardinia, they bring it out for special celebrations, for weddings. I mean, it's, it's considered a delicacy. Because so. nothing says romance and love like maggots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Well, and it, it has a similar taste to gorgonzola, so it's that really sharp, yeah. like blue cheese. Not taste, yeah. Either people have a taste for that or not. I mean, I love gorgonzola oh, cheese, yeah, no. <laughs> but I'm not ready for the maggots. Well, the, the crazy part about it is that All of it. If, if the maggots are dead on the cheese, that actually means you shouldn't eat it and it's borderline poisonous. So they need the maggots alive, which makes this yeah. situation for me just a total no-go. Well, well, the connoisseurs, though, apparently, so you want them alive, but you have to remember to chew them mm -hmm. really thoroughly. <laughs> If you don't chew them, they're gonna stay alive and be in your intestines as a parasite. They cause so if you love this, you want, chew it up. But I, apparently when you're eating it, they can jump up to 15 centimeters, so people like hold their hand what? above it so it won't jump into the eye. Well, you, <laughs> you better pair this with a pretty good wine before you get yeah. me to try it. A whole lot we, of were, wine. we were curious to see how many of you out there at home would try this delicacy and the results are <laughs> 36,000 people responded. Seven, seven percent said yes, they would. So obviously 93%, no way, no way, Carlo. But 